It is recording. Hey CV, my name's Jim Leaves and I'm here to update you on a few things to do with Grace Axe, uh, but predominantly talk through the creation of our steering groups. So just to start with an, a real high level overview, what is Grace Axe? So Grace Axe is two initiatives that we launched uh, back in the autumn to help the people of CV um, live out what it looks like to follow Jesus. Um, in, uh, in in and around Canterbury in uh, in our real lives and so uh, we launched a fund and we launched um, a series of project days um, for us to go and uh, bless and help um, not only those within our CP family but those within our communities um, and those in and around our communities as well uh, just to really show them the love of Jesus and so yeah let me talk you through the idea behind the the steering groups that we're hoping to set up and who we're looking forward uh, who we're looking for to be a part of those so um, the first thing is uh, we uh, like I say we launched in the autumn um, and we really need um, some some smaller groups of people to take these two initiatives forward into 2023 um, so these groups we're looking for probably like no more than six people in each um, and no less than three um, so we're looking for probably somewhere between uh, six to twelve um, people overall in terms of the skill sets that you uh, need to be part of these groups um, the first one is collaboration um, we really need people to kind of work together um, to be good decision makers um, to um, yeah really kind of imaginatively and creatively think about how we can take both of these initiatives forward um, we need you to be um, good decision makers uh, and we need you to be able to really what, communicate um, with uh, the, the CV leadership team, the CV trustees and the CV uh, family what is going on in, in those two initiatives. So that's going to be another sort of key aspect to uh, this steering group role. Um, and so part of that will be really that you're um, living and breathing those CV values um, that we're going to be talking about over the next couple of months, um, but are also on our website if you're not familiar with them. Um, we imagine the groups to probably meet up probably three or four times a year um, to um, chat through and then record kind of what their, their decisions are. And then um, in the interim between those um, meetings, kind of go away and just um, make the, the ideas that they've had and the, the thoughts that they've had um, in those meetings kind of really come alive. Um, each of those steering groups will also have one kind of nominated um, lead that you guys can choose yourselves once you're in them to, to coordinate all of that communication and, uh, and figure out yeah, how, how we get those stories back to the, the CV family. And from time to time, you might need to uh, make some asks and report some challenges um, and uh, like any queries and what, and what have you to, um, like I say, leadership and, and the trustee um, team as well. We're probably asking for a commitment of like, at least a year. So we would love you to serve for a year um, uh, as a minimum. Um, and then beyond there, hey, we'll see. We, we might end up with people that serve on these things for, for years and years. And that would be incredible. Um, but for now, yeah, a commitment of a year would be fantastic. And we can kind of roll that forward each, each time. Right. So on to what do we see these steering groups uh, doing and being responsible for? So let me start with the fund, first of all. So on the fun side of things, what we have is the first requirement and the most important probably is to oversee the, the uh, criteria and the process um, for accessing uh, the fund. Um, and so that is something that we should be reviewing regularly. We should be listening to feedback. We should be listening to other ideas and being creative about how we use our, our, our fund and, and obviously managing what we've got in there um, as well. So that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, I think so important is to be able to actually tell the stories um, of what impact uh, the, the fund and the uh, grants that we're able to provide is having in the lives of the people um, that, that we're able to share with. And so, um, yeah, we'd love to be able to tell our stories in our feedback forms. Um, we've had some um, beautiful, amazing uh, stories about the, the impact that the fund has been able to have. Um, and so how do we take that forward? How do we share those stories more, more widely? Because a bunch of people said they're really happy for us to share their stories. Um, and so we would love to find a way to do that uh, effectively. And then the third thing is looking at the expansion um, of the, the partnerships that we've got. Um, and so how does this look going forward? Do we, can we, um, work with and liaise with other churches on this. Um, can we, uh, yeah, tr like think about ways where we can 
support local charities um, where we can muck in with local schools to to really kind of yeah push the 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 benefit of the fund forward in a way that's um, you know manageable within our means and everything else. So that's the fund. Um, the project steering group. Um, again, three things that we need those guys to be looking at. And the first one is is really kind of more on a practical side of um, for all of our volunteers that are going to get involved with project days. Uh, and we hope to have more and more. Um, how do we do that in a way that is uh, safe, but also is um, fun? Uh, so providing equipment for them, making sure that we've got, uh, you know, T-shirts and hard hats and, and whatever else that have are logoed up with Grace Axe logos and what equipment do we need? We have got some funding for that, so let's let's use that well. Um, how do we store that equipment and everything else? And how do we get people to sort of sign up in a way that's 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 uh, that, that works? Um, secondly, again, very similar to the fund actually, stories. How do we tell the stories? How do we take photos and do little videos and um, yeah, tell the story of, of the impact that we're having through this fund? And then the third one is the partnerships, but it's also kind of looking at uh, building a pipeline of future projects that we can get involved with and so whether that's um, projects that are in and around our communities or whether we do um, some larger projects maybe where maybe we come together um, and we have a few communities meet up or we we do something with a local charity in um, in Canterbury somewhere or whatever it is and um, what do the partnerships look like and how do we build almost like a program of projects uh, and opportunities for us to get involved with um, as we go forward so that's the fund and the projects and um, the tasks for, for those. How we see this um, working and timescales, let me just touch on those. So we've set up a WhatsApp community for Grace Acts. And so what we're thinking of having is, is a WhatsApp group for both um, projects and fund um, and then a, a community that's kind of a wraparound for that. So we would love to be able to share the stories of what's happening in both um, with the members of the CV family. And we can do that through a, a kind of a public WhatsApp um, notification group um, so yeah it, initially looking to to add people to that if they're interested in being involved uh, or sorry if, they, if they're confirmed that they're happy to be involved and then timing wise we would love to have those two groups um, with the, the people that are going to be taking that forward in place by I want to say this the first of March ideally so by the end of this month let us know which of those two steering groups you're interested in being involved with and that you feel you can support on um, and what we'll do is we'll we'll gather all those people that have um, kind of put themselves forward, and we'll 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 make some calls on on which people uh, we're going to ask to to serve on that, and we'll introduce you to the CV family as as the people sort of taking that forward too. Um, thank you so much for listening. Um, I can't wait to get these two uh, groups off the ground because it will really mean that we can kind of flourish as as we go forward and and build out the impact of of both of these funds and and ultimately um, show people of CV, ourselves uh, and those in and around our communities that Grace genuinely does act um, and it's so cool and uh, I'm thrilled to be kind of setting this up and, and taking the lead on it a little bit. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for listening, thank you for being involved um, and I look forward to hearing from you and yeah let's get this things going. Cheers guys, bye.